Hey guys, Kidgu here with a great tutorial today on emulation software, guys. Emulators, if you don't know what it is, basically, uh, we're going to emulate uh, most, you know, old consoles and some new, gen, not really new gen consoles, but, you know, great consoles out there. Uh, the common, I'm going to pick three common ones, uh, well, actually two common ones, not really new gen, not 360, not PS3, and one old one, referring back to the 64 on emulation software, basically how to run it on your computer. Yeah, guys, it's possible to run on your computer. Basically, uh, there's stuff like uh, called ROM files. For like, for example, if the N64 cartridges that were uh, downloaded, the whole file was put onto a computer, and they're you know they're they're the great thing about them, they're, they're small files of game, and the emulation software really isn't that big as well. And uh, you can download them right into a pen drive, and that's what I did. I actually picked up uh, from a friend of Project 64. I've heard about it, I was looking into it, tried it out, and I've gotten really, uh, I guess, I decided to do some work on emulation. And uh, I basically, you know, I, I checked out the sites, I made sure that they were, you know, pretty safe. I checked out uh, Yahoo Answers, a lot of these were recommended. Um, especially from other people on YouTube, some of these sites were recommended. I also did virus scans, just in case. And from my scans, guys, everything's fine. But anyways, let me get into emulation software. So here's my pen drive. I have Project 64 open, which is the emulation software for Nintendo 64. So I'm just dot, run up the .exe file. And here I have the dot .z64, Z64, which is the game. I have two games on here right now, Super Smash Bros. and GoldenEye, some of my favorites. Now, this may look like nothing, right, guys? But watch this. It's just a plain open ROM file. I'm going to find the game. I'll play Super Smash Bros. And watch this. It's actually going to emulate it through the computer. Watch it. Nintendo 64. It's like you're playing it with a Nintendo 64. Watch. That's awesome, guys. Now, the downside to this, you have to get used to the controls. I'm pretty sure you can change them. Uh, you know, I'm not sure. I have to find out how to use the mouse still because I have to use, you know... But if you're a heavy gamer and you get used to this, this is actually really cool. So I'm just going to show you real quick how it works out. One of my favorite characters, Fox. So guys, I love this game. and This is straight from the N64 cartridge streaming through the computer. I mean, this isn't actually... I don't physically have the cartridge. So, so you know, it's, that's the whole point of emulation. It emulated the game. And you can download those from sites that, you know... I got this one from a cool. Uh, this one was actually preloaded with mine. Uh, I checked out coolroms.com, so that's enough for now. Uh, I'm just gonna end emulation. And like I said, guys, uh, this is just on my pen drive, guys. This whole folder, this whole folder itself, plus the two games in right now. Like I said, these aren't the Project 64 one was even that huge. It's only 37.2 megabytes, guys. So not that much at all. Uh, so let me just pull up the web pages here I have. So Project 64 you can download at www.pj64-emu.com. I'll leave the links in the description. Now moving on for PS2 emulation. This is a great one. PCSX2 for PS2 games. Uh, you download this program. though it's the, it's the actual emulation software. For the Xbox, they have Xeon, or you can get Xeon or Xeon, or you not pronounce it. And they also have something else called, I believe it's CX, CXBX, there you go. Uh, Z Xeon pro uh, has a uh, higher rating, so this one looks, uh, you know, better. Anyways, uh, you don't really even need that huge uh, of a graphics card for the N64 ones, the PS2 ones. Now, if you're going to go into Xbox, you're going to have to look into... Maybe, you know, a GeForce FX or Radeon 9200. I'm going to try it out, even though my graphics card isn't the best. You know, they recommend recommendations of RAM, Pentium processor, latest DirectX, Windows XP. I'm running XP. So, sadly, guys, emulation software doesn't work on Vista as I know of. So, it's the NTSS version of for the Xbox platform, guys, right here. Great, great uh, emulation software. So, that's for the, you know. Now, these are just the emulation. These aren't going to get you the games. Uh... The site I found out that was really great was CoolRom.com, spelled CoolRom.com, and you just go to the main site, go to the ROM files, and there you, and then, oh, that's just, a, that's not all the games are here, and yeah, I believe you have to go to, uh, where is it, you have to find what you want, this one's for Nintendo 64, this is for example, and they have a list of games that go on and on, and you know, alphabetized. Uh, Emulator Zone is another great one that actually gives you the emulation software and a whole bunch of games. They have some for the DS, so if you're the Nintendo NES also. So if you're looking for DS, they also have emulation software like um, IDAS, Neon DS, D 
DSE EMU. A whole bunch of guys know dollar sign GBA. That's one of the really great ones. So check out these guys. They're great emulation software. You can run them right on your computer. I'm gonna put mine on my pen drive. I have a single pen drive open for this. Uh, you know, any pen drive will do. Uh, I'm only running mine on a one gig. So, so really, really, really check it out, guys. Great uh, emulation software. Great sites. Cool ROM and Emulator Zoom. Uh, don't forget to check out the PCSX2.net and the Project 64, guys. It really reminds me back of the old days when I played with the joystick and all that. Anyways, guys, uh, you know, great way to play the computers, I mean, the games right off the sh computer streaming through emulation. Uh, you don't even need the game, guys. So, um, yeah, guys, I thought I'd just share this with you. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. All the links will be in the video description to the right. If you enjoyed this video, please comment. I'd uh, love to hear your feedback. Rate the video. Even if you really love it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is Kid Guru here signing out. If you have any feedback, email me at kidgurucenter at gmail.com. We're also streaming live 24-7 at ustream.tv slash kidguru. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.